Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Are you Good okay? Evening, Good evening. Good evening. Are you guys okay tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Abel. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, teacher. Great. Great. Ok, um, bien, vamos a comenzar platicando acerca de el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Porque el día de mañana es el último día del curso, entonces uh, ustedes han recibido su encuesta, la vamos a realizar el día de mañana. Como les decía, aún no nos habían dicho eh, si había algún cambio en la dinámica o algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eh, un horario establecido todavía no lo tengo, lo recibiré el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Primero Dios que sea pronto, pero sí les recuerdo de que es obligatorio que todos estemos para poder hacer la encuesta el día de mañana. Esa encuesta, sí, dígame. Yo tengo una pregunta, a mí no me ha llegado todavía lo de esa encuesta. Permítame, Lucía. Eh, eso quiero hablar porque hay, quiero ver, hay uno, dos, tres, cuatro y permítanme que no baja. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, quiero ver. Estamos hablando de dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Sí, cinco participantes que me aparecen en el listado de oyentes. Entonces, esa es la razón por la que no lo han recibido. No es ningún problema, Lucía. Eh, no es obligatorio. Por lo menos no es obligatorio que lo presente Lucía, ni ya les voy a decir porque hay un, una lista. Alba, ni Eric, ni José, Abel, uh, ni Eric, José. Uh, uh, según mi listado, ¿ok? Según mi listado, no es eh, obligatorio que ustedes lo presenten. Por eso es que ustedes no lo han recibido, porque eso se recibe directamente del promotor de Insafor. Entonces, uh, no se preocupen, no quiere decir nada <ríe> eh, malo, pues, ¿verdad? Sino que al contrario, eh, vamos a, a tomarlo de que ustedes sí deben de estar presentes, pero no van a enviar el, el registro. Ese no es un, re, uno es un requisito para ustedes, ¿ok? Solo para todos los demás, ¿verdad? Para todos los demás, sí, deben estar acá y deben haberlo recibido, ¿verdad? Si a usted lo, no lo han etiquetado como oyente, eh, cuando lo inscribieron, tuvieron que haberle dicho, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, todos los que están... Eh, debidamente inscritos con esa por <coughs> van a obligatoriamente presentar, ¿ok? Bien. Y la otra cosa, pues, es que ya deben de estar adelantados con su documentación, ¿verdad? Para poder inscribirse al siguiente módulo. Eh, espero todos vamos a pasar, ¿verdad? Todos vamos a pasar. Este, ahí sí que de plano, todos llevamos buenísimas notas, todos llevan buenísimas notas, ¿verdad? Han estado en su generalidad, en su mayoría, presentes, ¿verdad? Entonces, su porcentaje de asistencia es uno de los requisitos. Entonces, sería, eh, para los oyentes, los dos requisitos son la asistencia, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para los eh, que no son oyentes, son tres. La encuesta, la plataforma y eh, la plataforma y ay, se me borró el cassette ahorita. La plataforma 
Puntualidad. Y la asistencia. asistencia. I'm sorry. Y la asistencia. Okay. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. Entonces, acuérdense que ese 80% es indispensable, ¿verdad? Eh, si hay alguna pregunta, con gusto la respondo en este momento. No, teacher. No, ok. No Bien, eh, voy a recalcar. Este, el... Ok, dígame, Lucía, dígame, dígame. Este, estaba viendo el progreso ¿sí? y me sale que tengo marcado un poquito más del 50%, porque ya de ahí me tira un, un final, pero ese me sale en gris, no sé a qué se debe eso. El final es el examen final, ok. El fi, lo que dice final es el examen final. ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero se supone que ya lo hice. Y permítame, permítame, déjenme llegar hasta ahí. Vamos a ver, lo voy a verificar yo acá, Lucía. Creo que a todos nos aparece así, diría yo. Este, ah. Al final, en la evaluación final, aparece en gris toda, toda la toda, bueno, la barra, en mi caso, aparece gris. Y el total del 80, quizás del 75% para arriba, ya Ajá. me aparece gris la barra, porque va de Ajá, topar, no, no, no. creo que va en tres colores. Sí, es que media vez se van ah. realizando las actividades de la plataforma, se va llenando el histograma, ¿verdad? Se va completando. Oh, es que entonces quiere decirte que se va a poner en cuatro colores, entonces. Cuatro colores, me imagino. Eh, porque veo que va, tiene un porcentaje de, las, de los homework, de, después tiene otro porcentaje del meter, del, meter, mi, meter, del examen uh -huh. y tiene el porcentaje del examen final. Me imagino que hace una sumatoria al final. Exactamente. Ajá, un solo hace porcentaje. Un... Exactamente. Total. Solo déjenme ah. verificar el de Lucía en específico a ver cómo es que le aparece. Porque... Bueno, es que, eh, o sea, de igual manera me parece así como está diciendo él, a nivel. Uh, van en tres colores. Los, los homework van como en un Ajá. color clarito. Ajá. Más clarito. Ajá. Ajá. El examen de... va en ocre, por decirlo. El más Ajá. fuerte. Ajá. Ajá. Y el final dice. Y el examen final en gris. Ajá. En grisito, sí, sí, así es. Yo ah, pensé okay. no, que no, no, no le aparecía no. realizado. O sea, eso era lo que pensaba yo, que no le aparecía no, realizado. No, a mí sí, pero como, o sea, oh, okay. la van de colores, pensé que así iba a ser también este al final. Oh, okay. ok, no, se va llenando el histograma a manera de, a, en cuanto usted va realizando las actividades. Uh -huh. Ok. Y cualquier cosa, igual yo les mando mensaje inmediatamente cuando verifico que hay alguna situación con su plataforma y les consulto, ¿verdad? Si han tenido algún problema. Más de alguno ya ha recibido mis mensajes en donde yo les digo que si tiene algún problema yo con gusto le ayudo, ¿verdad? Pero no, Lucía, no me ha parecido con problemas usted. Yo creo que todo está bien y no me carga la página. Estoy esperando y esperando. Ok, gracias. Ok, ahorita Dentro, vamos a ver. Ahorita entró, ahorita entró, vamos a ver. Ok, si sí me aparece aquí muy bien. Ok, let's see the print progress. Sí, tal un poquito en qué cara. Sí, estamos correctos. Tiene su 100%. Sí, así es. Así es como tiene que aparecer las tres. Um, áreas realizadas. Eh, tiene la primera del 30% de la tarea, luego tiene, que es la rosada, ¿verdad? Luego la OCRE, que es el eh, examen 30%. intermedio, ¿verdad? 
y luego que es el examen final del 40%, ¿verdad? Entonces usted tiene el total del 100% realizado. No hay ningún problema. Ok, thank you. Ok, Lucía, con gusto. Ok, everyone, then let's continue. We're going to uh, call the roll. I am going to call the roll. So please turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name, ok? Here we go. Aníbal Osmar Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Denise Orlando Mejía Vélez. Ever Hernán Mejía. Sí, yo me pongo muy triste cuando, cuando renuncian y ya abandonan el curso. Sí, me pone triste. A ver, Gabriel Eliseo de Odales Pérez. Ah, sí, no se me va a desanimar. Okay. No, lo que pasa es que a veces como me toca desvelarme en el trabajo. Sí. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Ok. Gloria Cecilia Sorto Baires. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present teacher. Jorge Luis Martínez Gómez. Present teacher. José Fernando Marroquín Palacios. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Present teacher. Marta Marisela Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Ok. Raúl Edgardo Robles. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Evelyn Rodríguez Martínez. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Lucía de Los Ángeles Solís Ramos. Present. Alba Janet Jiménez Cabrera. Gracias, señor. Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. José Abelis Aguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Casi lo escuché. Tengo malo el internet. Oh, ok. El, Cualquier el, cosa, el, Eric, el, si, el, si no puede el, comunicarse el, el, así en audio, por favor, por el chat. ¿Verdad? Ok. Bien, vamos entonces a comenzar el día de hoy nuestra clase. It's 8.13 already. So uh, today we are studying. Mm, this is a review. Okay, this is a review is um, the vocabulary practice. Okay, it says está fallando mucho la señal, dice Gabriel. Okay, this is a vocabulary practice. Está bien, Gabriel, comprendo. Eh, pero por favor traten de no desconectarse, traten al máximo de permanecer conectados. Y de igual forma yo aquí trato de eliminar ventanas para que podamos mantener un, un fluido, ¿verdad? De la carga acá, ¿verdad? De, que no se recargue la señal, ¿verdad? O el internet con lo que uno tiene que presentar. Bien, entonces, volviendo al punto, estábamos hablando de que el día de hoy tenemos una práctica de vocabulario, ¿ok? Practice, I mean, vocabulary practice. And Hi, this is... teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. I teacher, see you. De, Tell me. de oyente porque voy en carretera. All right, no problem. Thank Please you. keep your eyes on the road. Okay, there you go. Okay, then. We are going to continue with uh, this presentation. So let me introduce the class, okay? Share the screen with you. And just let me recall what's the objective of Unit 4. Okay, solo déjenme que recordemos cuál es el objetivo de la unidad 4, porque eh, hemos visto bastantes temas, ¿verdad? 
eh, dentro de la unidad 4, pero todo va dirigido a un objetivo. Veamos entonces. And students will be able to describe their and others' workplaces. Ustedes van a ser capaces de describir tanto su lugar de trabajo como el lugar de trabajo de otros. Con esta parte hemos visto incluso eh, cosas que hay y cosas que no hay. Remember, there is, there are. And also the location of places. Being capable to say what there is at the workplace and how it looks like. Y cómo se ve. Today, we are going to learn some adjectives to describe places, okay? Furthermore, to ask and answer. This is very important. Ask and answer how to get to places around your workplaces, okay? Around your workplaces. Bien. Vamos a ver entonces. Today we are in our video conference number 19. We have our vocabulary practice and our agenda for tonight is, first of all, we are going to do a listening comprehension exercise. We are going to do some uh, exercises in a worksheet. So uh, please, we are going to be working in groups tonight, okay? Uh, practicing. Las actividades de listening, ¿verdad? Eh, traen ahorita hay, hay dos worksheets para trabajarlas en grupo. La idea es que comentemos, hablemos, usemos el vocabulario, ¿ok? Then we are going to recall some prepositions of place using there is and there are to describe places and locations. And um, There is an online interactive game que podríamos hacer, ok, si nos queda el suficiente tiempo, pero este, using there is and there are, to describe places and locations is from our manual, ok. Es actividad desde nuestro manual. Vamos a procurar que nos quede suficiente tiempo para poder hacer el juego, ¿verdad? Luego, eh, in the breakout rooms, we have a conversation time. And the question will be, what is there in your city? What is there in your city? Remember, uh, locations of surrounding places, practice, vocabulary, this is our objective tonight, okay? So let's start. Vamos a comenzar entonces con nuestra eh, actividad de listening. Okay, vamos a, por ahí les envié una imagen de una lectura, okay? And yes. it's, it says unusual homes. Unusual homes. Unusual homes. So please pay attention to the reading and you are going to read along, okay? You are going to read along with this. Um, I'm going to play the video, okay? I'm going to play the video even though I don't know if I can do it better from here. One second. Teacher, y cor, uh -huh. Cortain, así Cortain se pronuncia. Cortain. Excuse me? Cortain, así se pronuncia. Carton. No, no, it's Carton. Esa es una Carton. pronunciación algo complicada, pero es así. Mire, la voy a, voy a ponerme acá, ¿ok? Mire, Carton. ¿Ok? Carton. 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 Okay, thank you. Mm, yeah. Al final es como un mm, okay? Mm, uh, carton, 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 carton. Okay? There we go. No se dice cortain. Mm -mm. Cortain. Is it carton? Carton. Carton. Mm -hmm. It's kind of complicated, mm. okay? This, así que hay que practicarla un poquito. Hay que eh, retraer la lengua hasta... Puntarla. Exacto, pero usted cierra. Mm. Okay, uh -huh. there we go. Okay, guys, just let me share this. Uh, espero poder compartirlo bien acá. Okay, there we go. A ver, ¿todos tienen la lectura ahí? 
a la mano? Uh, ya le yes. dio. Ok, voy a intentar presentarlo como... Uh, voy, a, voy a intentar presentarlo así como el video. Sí. No se mira sí, muy bien. Para acá, para acá, para acá, para acá. Por mi resolución. Por eso no se mira muy bien, pero... Eh, lo voy a presentar así, ¿ok? Bien. Oh. Okay, here it is. Please pay attention. <clears throat> sure. Sure. Shoot. Sure. Uh, where up the love? Love is is algún apellido o o nombre de ¿Qué es love? Ok. Loves, loves son un tipo de apartamento. Oh. Okay. Es un tipo de apartamento. Ajá. <coughs> Como un estudio. Uh -huh. oh. Sí se escuchaba. ¿Qué oh. dijo, teacher? ¿Sí no, se escuchaba no. el audio? El audio. No, 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 okay, sure. no, no, bien, por eso les decía que quizás el audio <coughs> por separado lo, a ver. Intentar, nuevamente, a ver si tiene que ser, ok. Near Tokyo, Japan, are very colorful. 49, exercise 12, reading. Unusual homes. Shusaku Arakawa and Madeline Ginz are famous designers. Their nine lofts near Tokyo, Japan, are very colorful. The apartments are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright colors. Inside, the walls are colorful too. The floors go up and down, and some rooms are round. The windows have strange shapes, so there are no curtains. There are small doors to the outside. Inside, there aren't any closets. The bookcase is in the middle of the living room. Dan Phillips likes to help people. He builds houses for artists and other low-income people in Huntsville, Texas, in the United States. One house, the tree house, is in a large tree in the forest. It has windows on the floor. It also has a small kitchen. The bed is on the upstairs floor. There is a wood-burning stove from an old ship in the living room. Phillips teaches people how to build houses with recycled materials. Okay, now we're going to see the reading. Let's go to the reading. A ver, ¿qué, ¿qué comprendieron así a grosso modo? Esto es a grosso modo y así de shock. Que eh, hay varios sí. tipos de apartamento. Ok. Eh, 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 um, son dos diseñadores famosos. Sí. Este. Sí. Okay. Can you say that in English? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, pero estamos eh, cargando, Adrián. Two famous designers. Famous designers. Ajá. Famous. Uh -huh. Okay. El cargador. Ajá. 
And what else? There are more small store is to the uh, outside. Uh, inside there is ounce any closets. Okay. The, apartment, the apartments the loft uh, are so near uh, Tokyo. Okay. Mm -hmm. The and where is Tokyo? Where is Tokyo? In Japan. 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 It's Japan. in Japan. 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 Okay. Japan. Great. Uh -huh. Japan. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Are very colorful. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. In the apartments uh, are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright colors. Okay, very good. So you said that the loves are in Japan and let's answer the question at the beginning, okay? In the headline of the reading, it says, where does Dan Phillips build houses? Where does Dan Phillips build houses? In la segunda, in la segunda lectura. They build houses in the forest. Okay, he builds houses mm -hmm. in the forest. In the forest, okay, in the forest. In the house in the tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the trees. He teach how to build houses. Excellent. He teaches, okay, he teaches. He teaches. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, great. Bien, entonces, eh, vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms y ahí van a volver a leerlo así en la imagen que tienen ahí, okay? Ustedes lo vuelven a leer una vez, okay? Y les voy a enviar ahorita el, las preguntitas que ustedes tienen que realizar basado en esa lectura, ¿ok? Ahí va la primera. Okay. Y esta. Ok, voy a crear cuatro salas, ok, y ustedes se van a la sala que ustedes prefieran ahorita, ok, ustedes se adhieren a la sala que ustedes prefieran, hay cuatro salas, vamos. Eric está solito en la uno.
Jorge, Fernando. Ah, Fernando, I know you're driving. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's see, Jorge. Marta. Gabriel. Yeah, Ahorita sir, hay que unirse. Yes, I know, I know, Fernando, don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. Que estoy de mi celular y me cuesta, fíjese, pero... Ok, abajo donde dice sección de grupos, ahí tiene que escuchar y ahí es, escoge usted la sala. Ok. Ajá. Jorge. Jorge. Um, sí, más o menos ahí, que a esa hora, tipo 3 de la mañana, voy para el trabajo. Yo, yo llorando me levanto a las 5 y media, ya no digamos a las 3. <risa> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Está pesado. Vaya, démosle, empecemos. Sí, nos van a regañar. Nos van a regañar la ticha. <risa> Yo no los regaño. No, no, no. Un llamado de atención. Ah, ok. Eso sí. Ah, eso sí. Ajá. Ok, guys. How's it going? Uh, you've got to read. Ok. Once. Once is ok. You read and then you answer the questions. Ok. In the first worksheet, you have to mark true or false. Ok. Ok. okay. One. One uh, read and others to uh, answer the question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can read. Uh, place max if you want. Very good. Okay. Wilbur wants to read. So, Eric, Jose, and Aníbal, please answer the questions while you are listening. Okay. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh. Shusaku Arakawa and Madeline Wings are famous designers. Their nine loves near Hi, Marta. Marta. Hola. La voy a asignar yo a un grupo, ¿ok? Ah, perfecto, gracias. Ok. Por tú. Sí, yo, sí, sí, verdadero. Verdadero, true. La tercera es There are no closet. Es There are no closet. There are no doors. There aren't any closets. Up. There are no closets. Yes, true. I, yo creo que es true. Es true. Uh -huh. de, en el párrafo no hay ningún closet. En el closet, que no hay ninguno. Ok, entonces true sería, ¿verdad? Yes. La cuarta, there are big doors to the outside. No, es false. Hello, Rolando. Hello, teacher. Eh, ¿Tuvo problema con la conexión? Sí, me sacó varias veces. Oh, ok. ¿Y en qué grupo estaba? 
Me sacó antes de que creara los grupos, teacher. Ah, bien. Entonces lo voy a enviar a la sala 1, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Room number 1. Ok. Uh -huh. Hola, pues. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. <laughs> What happened to the Nilsson? <laughs> <laughs> here is Muy Rolando. Gracias. Here is Rolando to work with you, okay? He's joining to this group. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Ya leyeron? Sí. Ahorita estamos completando. The questions. Oh, okay. Then remember that the first part is true or false. Okay, you have to mark yes. true or false, but you have to the, say, to, you have to comment. Okay, you have to comment this. Here is Rolando with you. Okay. Okay. And the second part, uh, uh, answer, short answer, or, or la expression larga. <laughs> Answer the questions. It means, uh, for example, if it is a no answer, then you've got to say the correct thing, okay? Uh, what really is. For example, number one says, uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Number one does, says. Does he build houses in Texas? That, okay. That question. Okay. Uh, then, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, solo quería estábamos ahí en la duda con él si es correcto poner solamente yes he does yes he does es correcto es correcto okay. pero hay un detalle que no está dicho verdad entonces hay que decir uh, yes he does he builds houses in Huntersville I think it is right houses yes en uh -huh. Texas yes of ah. course entonces okay, pero okay. falta un detalle en eso que sea en Texas verdad ¿Cuál mm -hmm. es el detalle que falta? La ciudad, the city, right? Sí, es en... Or the place. Hon Honksville, Hon Honksville, Texas. Ok. En mm -hmm. the United States. Ok, then you say, uh, yes, he does. He builds houses in, then you say, the city. Honksville, Texas. Hon Honksville, Texas. Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. it sounds okay. better. It sounds better because you complete the information, right? Remember that okay. these are, um, yeah, just, this is a comprehension check, okay? Okay, teacher, teacher. thank you. Pero Hosville no es otra ciudad. Excuse me? Pero Hosville no es otra ciudad, porque allí se no. home in Texas y Estados Unidos. Me imagino que son diferentes no, no. los tres. No, 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 eh, es como la jurisdicción, okay? Huntsville sería la city, jurisdicción de Texas, right? There you ah, are. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Um, okay. Aquí está Rolando. Question. Okay. Okay. Hi, Rolando. Hi. Can you read the universal forms? What part? He does. Is yes. there a big house in a small tree in the city? Fall is in the forest. Is there a bed stairs on the upstairs floor? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Is there a big kitchen in the tree house? No, there isn't. Con, mm. no, Are there windows on the floor? Yes, it is. What material does Phyllis use to build houses? 
a recycled material. He use he does no, I no say he use he used to build houses. He does use a recycled material. Creo que mm. la chamo, ¿verdad? Okay, sí. Yes. Um, okay. Este, podemos este, iniciar nuevamente con la lectura para poder sacar las, las preguntas. Bueno, okay. La primera. Ajá. La primera, yes. no sería. Okay. He, he will house for artists. Artists. Oh, veámoslo. Sí, porque. La, ¿Cómo dice la primera? Yes. La primera es Does he build house? house in Texas. Ah, en Texas. No, Ajá. ahí se refiere al lugar. Es que sí, él hace casas en Texas. Sí, yes, he does. He build house okay. in Texas. Sí, en Texas, ahí donde las hace. Tiene que ser yes. Ok. For artists. Es correcto también. Yes, he does. He does. Yes, he, he does. He does. Does. Uh -huh. Does. Uh -huh. Is there three houses in a small? Is there the next uh, three is... houses? In a small tree in the city? No, there is, porque es in the forest, donde la, ha hecho la, la causa del árbol. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Is there a bed upstairs on the upstairs floor? Bueno, yo pensé que el tiempo se nos había terminado. Sí. Pero... No. Ajá, por eso es que me la dije toda, porque pensé que ya no teníamos no sé, el minuto, pensaba que era que quedaba cuando sumó. Todavía hay tiempo. Ok, okay la eh, the question. That is false. <laughs> Teacher, su micrófono está. Thank you. Hello, Jorge. ¿Qué pasó? ¿No se unió a la, a la sesión de grupo? Sorry, teacher. Estaba, eh, andaba aquí a la par, haciendo alguna actividad, pero ya volví. Ok. Entonces, abajo en su menú, dice sección de grupo, si usted escoge la sala donde se va a unir. Ok. ¿Mm? Fernando, ¿ya está en casa? Dice que continúa manejando. Ok, no problem. Ya uh, casi, teacher. Cinco okay. minutos, solo entro. No, okay. jet. Ok, no problem, no problem. Thank you. Jorge, ¿encontró el menú? Eh, pero no me... Lo ah, voy a asignar. Ok, lo voy a asignar entonces yo eh. to the room two, ok? Room number two. Ok, ok. There you go.
Veo que me va a hacer falta. El, el sorry. Eso me hace falta. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, partner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, is there as a big kitchen in the three floors? The three house. Um, the three house. No, no, no. No. It's, no. It's small. No. It's no. It's no. 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 There is. There is. No. No. There is. There is. There is. Sí. Yes. There is. No, there isn't, o yes, it is. No, no, no. No, no, no there, there isn't. isn't. Eh, porque la pregunta dice Big Chicken. Y is... aquí, Kitchen. kitchen. Y en y de, y de la, ¿Y lo que es la lectura, dice, dice: Also has a small kitchen. No. Entonces, no, 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 big kitchen. No es big kitchen. Es small kitchen. Right. Ok. Small I got it. kitchen. Sería un, dos, tres. La, ya estamos la cuarta. con la seis. Ajá, la cuarta. cuarta. La cuarta. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. seis. He, use, he uses. He uses. Reciclar material. Va. Hey, excellent partner. Estamos excellent. ya con todo. Hey, ¿cuántos somos, compañeros? ¿Cuántos pues... somos? ¿Cuántos? Vaya para afuera. Aníbal is fighting with his with his dog. Eh. Eh. <laughs> What's its name? No, no sé. No, no. No, 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 no lo puedo ver. Es negro. El, it's a black dog. Okay. And what's its name? Eh, Rocky. Is it's Rocky. Rocky. Sí. Okay. Is a. Uh, Is he friendly? ¿Cómo se dice raza, teacher? Ah, uh, ahí me poncho. Ah, uh, okay. the kind, kind of of the dog, oh. kind. Oh. Sería de gris. I don't remember. Let's, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Did you find it out? Um, um, Wilber? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> No, uh, repeat again, please. One second, because there are three or four words that I know, but I don't want to make a mistake, okay? Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, now I, I remember uh, now exactly. It is the breed, okay? The breed, not degree, is breed, okay? There you are. The breed of the dog, okay? Uh, the or the dog's breed. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. Okay, dog's breed. I'm sorry. Uh, teacher, right. I had that please. word out of. Breed is B-R-E-E-D. Let me write it down here. B-R-E-E-D. Oh. Okay. Breed. Mm -hmm. breed. Breed of the dog or the dog's breed. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same, but uh, uh, for a pricket. Pricket. 
breed of cats? I, 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 I... Uh, it's a pre-cat. Mm. Oh, okay, that's a parrot. Yeah, that's a parrot. Parrot, mm -hmm. parrot. Yeah, that's a parrot. I have three oh. parrots. <laughs> yeah. A parrot, ah. Oh. That's a parrot. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, but you didn't tell us what was your dog's breed. Rocky's breed. Rocky's breed is is a pit bull or is amistado, como se dice? Mixed. Ah, mixed. Uh, uh -huh. pig, uh, mixed and bullying. Bullying. Oh. Bullying. Okay. Well. Interesting, interesting. I don't know about the breed of oh. dogs. I mean, yeah, I don't know, but I I, I like dogs. I like oh. dogs. Do you like dogs, guys? Do you like, go I'm sorry, do you like dogs? Yes. Yes, yes I have yes, four yes. dogs. Do you have any pets? Yes, do you have any pets? Yes. Well, Wilbur has a parrot. Do you have any pets? Two cats. I prefer the cats. cats. I I have four dogs. <laughs> four oh, dogs. Oh my uh, god. Four dogs. Hot dog. <laughs> I, I love hot dogs. <laughs> three parrots. Um, I love dogs. I hear um, <laughs> an eight and eight total. Eight total and turtles, two okay. dogs. Turtles. You have eight, eight turtles. turtles. Are they uh from water? Yes. Aquatic. Um, or earth, earth, um, como le, como earth turtle or aquatic turtle. from the water? A turtle, huh? turtle, yeah, turtle. turtles. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, my girls have uh, three turtles too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, oh, you, my daughters. Or, uh, my daughters oh. have three turtles. Yeah. Three. <laughs> three. Oh, three my turtles. Total? Eight total. Eight. Eight total. That's amazing. Eight. Eight yeah, turtles. that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Turtles are interesting. Okay, guys. So now let's continue with the activity we were talking about. Uh, and let, let me share the screen with you with the questions. Okay. Did you have enough time to read? ¿Tuvieron suficiente tiempo para leerlo? Yes. Ok, great. Yes. Great, great. So let me share the screen with you. Here we are. Okay. So let's see. Arakawa and Gin's loft. Let's see. The apartments are near Tokyo in Japan. What do you say? What do you think? True. True, True or false? True. True. Okay. True. 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 Okay. Okay, true. Mm -hmm. There are colorful walls. True. Is true. It true. Okay. True. Next one. Can you read it, please, uh, Rolando? This one? There are no closets. Okay. Is it true or is it false? True. Is it true? True. True. Okay. There are big doors to the outside. False. 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 You sure? There. I yes. don't know. Okay. And the next one? False. 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 
Can you read it, please? Oh, there are a lot on the courts. Curtains. Okay, there are a lot of curtains. 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 There are curtains. Curtains. Is it true or is it false? It's a false. 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 And the last one? False. Can Madeline, you read it, please? Uh -huh. Madeline Wins are in famous, famous design, designer. Okay. False. 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 Okay, because it False. says, yes, because it says um, <clears throat> that they are famous, right? Okay. Now let's go to the next questions. Mm -hmm. Sam Phillips Tree House. Okay. Tree House. Bien, aquí les quería mostrar algo. Okay, perdón, que he quedado esto. Por acá les quería mostrar algo. Cuando vamos a decir que algo le pertenece a alguien, ok, something um, they uh, a belonging, ok. Yeah. Si la palabra, if the word and in a letter S isn't, ne isn't necessary to add another S, ok. No es necesario agregar la letra S. But, uh, but it's not a mistake if you add it, okay? It's not a mistake if you add it. So we can write this oh. like this, okay? Yeah, like this. There you are. Dan Phillips Treehouse without the letter S because it has a letter S already, okay? Now, let's see, let's look at number one. Does he build houses in Texas? Yes, pero falta un detalle, ¿verdad? Falta un detalle. ¿Cuál detalle? Yes, he does. He does. He wins in Texas. In Texas. Where? What city or yeah, what city? In Texas. Louisville. In Texas. Uh -huh. Can you spell that for me, please? H U N. In Louisville. I was in the United States. W L A E. -E. Uh, okay. I double L E. Yeah, you're right. Okay. It's like hands. Interference, yeah. teacher. Very, right. very, very interference. Okay, here we are. He builds houses in Huntsville. Texas, right? Ok, eso lo hacemos cuando falta algún detalle o completamos la información, ok? In this case, uh, does he build houses in Texas? Yes, he does. Pero falta un detalle. He builds houses in Huntsville, Texas, ok? There we go. Here we go. Next one. Can you read the question, please, Isidro? Is there a tree house in a small tree in the city? Mm -hmm. What is the answer, guys? What do you think? 
No, there no, isn't. There, there isn't. There is a large. There is a tree house in a large tree in the forest. In the forest. Mm -hmm. There is a tree house. Tree house. Mm -hmm. Where exactly? A large tree. In a large tree in the forest. Excellent. Okay, what about the next one? Is, is there a bed upstairs on the upstairs floor? Yes, there is a bed upstairs on the, on upstairs, the upstairs floor. floor. Ok, aquí podríamos dejarlo como un short answer, ok. Yes, there is. Y funciona bien, ok. No hay más okay. detalles que dar, ok. Y este upstairs, I think it's unnecessary, ok. There we go. Is there a big kitchen in the tree house? <coughs> no, no, there is. No, there is. No, there is. No, there is. There is a small kitchen. There, there is a small kitchen. Okay. Are there windows on the floor? Mm. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay, yes, very there good. Are. Mm -hmm. So the last one, can you read the last one, please? He use, he use a recycled material. Okay, so the question is what materials yes. does Philip use, use to build, to build houses? houses. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he, Mm -hmm. oh, he used uses uses uh -huh. ma recycler material. Okay. So is it recycled? Oh. Thanks, recycled teacher. materials. Okay. Okay. He uses recycled materials. There we are. Is there any question about the vocabulary in this activity? No, there is no tissue. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it raining around your places? Is it raining in your places? No, Anyone? At least a, teacher. No, it's a little bit. Actually, it's teacher. They say that it's going to rain. It seems it's going to rain. Okay, thank you very much, Gabriel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Estoy ahorita un poco llena de mensajes por acá. Como ya estamos en el final, verdad? Okay, there we go. So guys, thank you very much, Gabriel. We are gonna call the roll. <coughs> Remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your names, okay? So let's start. Aníbal Osmaro Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Eh, Denis Orlando Mejia Vélez. Present teacher. There you are, Denis, thank God. <laughs> we miss you. Okay, Ever Hernán Mejia. No, ever yet? Okay. Gabriel Eliseo de Odanes Pérez. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present teacher. Gloria Cecilia Sorto Baires. Oh, 
Y si Ernesto Costa Maldonado. Present teacher. Jorge Luis Martínez Gómez. Present teacher. José Fernando Marroquín Palacios. Present teacher. Marta Marisela Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Raúl Edgardo Robles. Recuerden que tienen que encender su cámara. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Evelyn Rodríguez Martínez. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Lucía de Los Ángeles Solís Ramos. Present. Ok. Alba Janet Jiménez Cabrera. Present teacher. Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Okay, there we are. Okay, people, let's continue with... Um, teacher, me. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. See Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Let me check what happened. I can't Something. believe. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Fayando Lee. Teacher. Oh my God. Okay, Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Okay, people, let's continue then. Just let me go here. Hablemos un poquito. What is there in your city? Okay. What is there in your city? Okay. This question. What is there in your city? Hemos hablado hasta este momento, what is there in your workplace, okay? What is there in your house, mm, someramente, ¿verdad? Ahora, veamos, what is there in your city? What is there in your city? Veamos cómo preguntamos qué es lo que hay, okay? Esta es la pregunta general, what is there in your city? Tenemos yeah. otras preguntas. Okay, mm -hmm. que podríamos usar como what places are there in your city? Okay, una pregunta alternativa sería what places are there in your city? What places are there in your city? Y podemos preguntar what is there in your city? Si no somos específicos. Ok, que estamos hablando solo de lugares, sino que también de cosas, de personas, de animales, right? Then we can ask, what is there in your city? But if we just want to know about places, then we can say, what places are there in your city? Now, let's see the, the specific questions for one of the places, ok? Just one second, because this thing is... Okay. Entonces, let's read the first question. Is there a gas station? Is there a gas station? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is yes. one. Okay. Yes, there, there is one, one on 2nd Avenue. On 2nd Avenue. Okay, si hubiera más de una, ¿cómo podríamos? Ajá. Uh. Uh -huh. Yes, there are how many? Let's say four, okay? Or there are two, okay? There you go. Veamos entonces, the next one. Is there a drugstore? Is there a drugstore? <coughs> Veamos la respuesta. No, I'm afraid there isn't. Ah, entonces no hay farmacia en esa ciudad, ¿verdad? No, I'm afraid there isn't. Is there a drugstore? No, 
I'm afraid there isn't. Una respuesta muy polite, okay? No, I'm afraid there isn't. Let's read the next one. Is there a park nearby? Is there a park nearby? Nearby es una palabra para decir por aquí cerca o cerca de aquí. Okay. Is there a park nearby? Por aquí. Yeah. Yes, there is one at the end of Military Street. Okay. Yes, there is one at the end of Military Street. Ok, esta es la forma de preguntar y de decir qué lugares hay en nuestra ciudad. Ok, so now let's think about. No, 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 no. Excuse me. There is a restaurant. Mm -hmm. There is a restaurant. The, there are um the there is yes there is is okay. Entonces aquí tenemos otra pregunta. Okay. Cuando What ya queremos place? decir cerca de dónde. Okay. For example, we are talking about your workplace. So what places are there near your workplace? What places are there near your workplace? Okay, veamos entonces. We can say there is a restaurant, there are some drugstores, there are a lot of bookstores, there are three shopping malls, there is a Catholic church. There is a big park. There are many beauty salons. There is no ATM near my workplace. There are no photocopy centers. Uh, there are no banks. There is no police station. Okay. What places are there near your workplace? What places are there near your workplace? Vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a la plataforma, ok? And in the platform, I posted a question and I gave you an example, ok? Vamos a la plataforma y en el área de discusiones. In the discussion label, let's click on it. What is there in your place, workplace? Okay, hay dos. Vamos a irnos a la oh. de la conferencia del día de hoy. Okay. Una es la que les prometí el día de ayer y la otra es la de este día. Okay. Ok, ahí tenemos una pregunta que aprendimos también el día de ayer, ok, y es similar a la que estamos viendo el día de hoy. Where is your place, your workplace located? Where is your workplace located? Tengo que entrar a la página, Yes, please. Okay. Here it is. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. My workplace. Mm -hmm. You have to trace a mental map, okay? Trace yes. a mental map Sorry. of Sorry. the street 
or the avenue where your workplace is on. Describe the location using the places around your workplace as point of preference. So for example, yesterday we learned about the prepositions of place. Okay, so my workplace is located on Los Andes Street, past Texaco gas station. It's Página between... 19. Excuse what? me? Página 19. Uh, no sé qué se refiere en la página. No, a la que, a la que se está yendo ahorita. Um... Eh, vale, mire, esto está cabal abajo de la videoconferencia número 19 que todavía no está subida. Sí, sí, ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, que tengo la 16, me parece nada más, chichi. Envíe mi publicación de este tema. Todos lo están mira mirando. ¿Todos lo encontraron? Yes, teacher. Ok. Entonces, vamos a hacer una respuesta para esta pregunta. Where is your workplace located? Trace a mental map of the street or the avenue where your workplace is on. Describe the location using the places around your workplace as points of reference. Y ahí está el ejemplo, okay? Comenzamos, let's start. Teacher, ¿cómo digo el número de local? Local um, 8. Only number. Only number. Mm -hmm. Ok, gracias. Number Teacher, una, una consulta, ¿cómo se escribe colonia? Colonia, colonia. Is muted. Está en mute, teacher. En este caso no lo vamos a traducir, ¿ok? Colonia. Colonia, like that. ok. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Ok. Y pasaje, ¿cómo lo se escribe? Um, y de la misma manera sería eh, pasaje como tal, pero sería como Abreviado. street. Sería como una street. Ajá. Ok. Ajá. Uh, to ride parqueo. Parking? Yeah. Car park or parking lot. Mm -hmm. Or just parking. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.
teacher ya la envié. Um, no sé si está correctamente escrita. No, I'm going to see. I will check. Teacher, mm -hmm. what say maquila? Factory. Okay. Factory. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's his number. Mm -hmm. I did it. Okay. Is a current my Yes it is. Okay. Yeah, yes. yes, yes it okay. is. It is correct. We did it, teacher. We did it. Yes. They are dancing here. Moving forward, right? Teacher, is correct the answer? I'm checking here. I have a Jorge oh. Luis right now uh, in the, on the screen. My workplace is located on Main Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aquí no ponemos off, okay? Oh. Aquí solo between. Between. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's good. Bien, ponemos primero el nombre de la avenida, okay? Wilbe, we say Olympica Avenue. Okay, okay. Okay. Number, okay. okay. También puede poner primero Gamaliel Parking. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But parking Gamaliel is okay? Mm, I think it is okay, but it's better if you write it in the correct way, Camaliel Parking, okay? okay? First we say the noun, yeah, in this case, uh-huh. The proper noun, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Located on. Uh, Aníbal, is my workplace is located on oh. Demon Street. Mm -hmm. Our church. Say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of the Guadalupe sounds kind of 
uh, rude. In this case, I think it will be uh, a Guadalupe's okay, favorite oh. church. Oh. Si lo quiere traducir, okay? Si sí. lo quiere traducir. Sí. Si no, eh, eh, lo pones. Se iba de Guadalupe Church. Oh. Ok. Uh -huh. este, reescribo la, la respuesta nuevamente, teacher. Uh, si usted gusta, sí. Oh. I am, aquí sería, este, pass. I am no va. No, ok. No. Ahí solo Past University pass. Matías pass. Delgado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. En este caso es primero Matías Delgado and then University, ok? Oh. Past Matías Delgado University. It's next to uh, la carretera, car. quiso poner sí. acá. Car. Car. Road. Car. Road. Oh, road. Road. Aquí oh, tendría road. que ser it's next to, to Pan American, Pan American Road. Road. Oh. Uh -huh. Road. Oh. Ok, there you are. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's see, Rosa, my workplace is located in Colonia, Miramonte, on Sierra Nevada, Avenue, number 704, by Colegio Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By, en este caso, eh, Rosa significa para usted, ahí, a la par de, o cerca. Cerca. Ah, entonces ahí podría poner near. near oh, ok. Near. Uh -huh. Ok. Near. Sí, porque está como, como prácticamente como unas dos cuadras. Está cerquita. Ok. Ok. So you can say that it's very near. Ok. It's very near. Okay, people, is there any other answer here? Mm -hmm. Very good, Eric Jose. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, este sur, Lucía, puede ser on. 13 South Avenue, okay? South Avenue. Okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Gabriel, ¿no ha podido entrar a la plataforma? Gabriel. Denis. Yes, teacher. ¿Pudo entrar a la plataforma? Yes. And I send my... Okay. My address. Okay. is located 
Aquí ya no iría este it's, está bien. Between Olympic Avenue and 71 South Avenue. Very good. Number 3719. Behind of the Boyle's restaurant. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Is located, he is on Emirador Street. Mm -hmm. In front of, okay, okay, very good. Do you have any questions so far? Any questions so far? Isidro, no lo vi por ahí. I did. Did you? Um, yes. Uh, pero me, algunas palabras no, no las escribí bien. No me fijé que, me, que okay. me las, cuando las puse me, el, me las cambió el sistema. Oh, ok. <laughs> Is there any question so far? No, teacher. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, then. Vamos a irnos a la página 42. Let's turn to page 42 in our manuals. Vamos a recordar the quantifiers, okay? We're going to remember something here. Y vamos a continuar todos los ejercicios que nos faltan hasta la 45, okay? Here we go. Okay, so let's read this. There is an ATM across the street. Remember, there is an ATM across the street. Aquí estamos recordando, miren, las prepositions of place. Mm -hmm. There is with singular nouns, okay? And there are for plural nouns. So let's read. Georgina, can you read please the examples of there is? Okay, teacher. There is an ATM across the street. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roseville Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Thank you very much. Vemos acá el afirmativo y el negativo. Hablábamos que podemos contractar there is, ¿ok? There is lo podemos contractar como there's, ¿ok? There is equals there's, ¿ok? 
there is equals there's contracted, right? Now, for the negative form, we could say there isn't, okay? Que sería la contracción de there is not, okay? Y la forma común de decirlo es there's no, ¿ok? There's no. Esta es la forma que vamos a utilizar para decir que no hay alguna cosa, ¿ok? There's no uh, clothing factory around the corner. This is what we have here. There's no window in my bedroom. There's no door in... Uh, the bathroom, okay? So we use there's no, que no hay una cosa, ¿verdad? Este es para singular, okay? Ahora, veamos los ejemplos de el plural. Can you read the examples, please, um, Lucia? For the there floor. are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Mm -hmm. There are no hospital on Barrio Street. Okay. I'm sorry. There Where is somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of disgusting. Yeah. But, okay. Right. <laughs> Who was Last it? Year. Thank you very much, um, Lucia. You did a very good job reading. I'm sorry, but there was some interference sound, okay? So this is why everybody was laughing. I'm sorry, eh, Lucia. Eh, bien, veamos entonces el negativo del plural. There are no. Esa no la contractamos, okay? There are no. Ok, esta no va a contractar. There are no. Bien, vamos entonces a completar estos ejercicios. Ya, yeah? this exercise. Number one, usamos there is o usamos there are. Leamos. Let's read. There is marketing presentation across the street in the in morning. The morning. Okay. So there is a, right? Oh, oh. there is a. Oh. Mm -hmm. There is a. Mm -hmm. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay, number two. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. There are is worship worship down the street the street. Okay, business there are workshops. business workshops. Okay, down the streets. There we are. There. Y tenemos el cuantificador ahí. Okay, there are some some some. Okay. Business workshops. Okay. Number three. There is a recruitment center around my building. Okay. Tenemos que oh. ver si uh, there hay o no hay. There, no. there are not. There are no. There are, uh -huh. there are not. Are not. Mm -hmm. There are no, okay? There are no recruitment centers, okay? <clears throat> recruitment centers around my building. Number four. Uh, there's no. There, there's are not. There are there's no. a store. 
there is a there is a there are no there is on the corner Russell Russell Street and the second avenue okay there are Ahora, no. uh -huh. a ver cuando usamos there isn't okay necesitamos un cuantificador en este caso Okay, para decir no hay ningún, right? So usaríamos there isn't any. Okay. Any. Uh -huh. There isn't any store. Mm -hmm. oh. There isn't any store. Okay. Y si decimos there isn't a store, también estaría bien. Okay. Pero en ese caso y para evitarnos este problema, yo les recomiendo que utilicemos el común there's no ahí usted no necesita no necesita un doble negativo verdad entonces vamos a decir there is there no no uh -huh. no 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 no, okay. there is no, no, there is no, there is no store, there is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Let's read number five. There, there are, there mm -hmm. are, are bank behind, behind the factory, factory, and factory, 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 and factory. factory. Okay, agreguemosle un un cuantificador there are so there are there no are... Uh -huh. podríamos usar muchos Mucho, podríamos no, usar no, algunos no, okay. no. muchos sería many muchos, many no. many many, many. Uh -huh. oh, yes. there are many uh -huh. many there are many banks banks, banks behind, behind the factory the award, factory award. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's read number six. It has a number one here. Number six. One. <laughs> yeah. There. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. There is a uh, Arans, Arans, Arans building uh, mm -hmm. around the corner. Mm -hmm. There is. There is. A, Mm -hmm. Le podemos ah. hacer así. There's. There is. There is. There. Uh -huh. There's. Oh. Empieza con una vocal, ¿verdad? Ah. Um. Entonces oh. le podemos oh. poner there's an aranza. Aranza. There's an aranza building around the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Do you have any question about this? No questions? No, no, teacher. You sure? Guys? Okay, let's continue then. Okay, acá en esta página, number it is 43, mm -mm, 43, okay. On this page, 43, we have how to describe places, okay. Which places are in your working place? Uh, we said something yesterday that there are bathrooms, there are offices, single offices, right? Entonces, para poder describir, uh, to describe properly um, the places that there are in your workplace, then you use these words, okay? These words are adjectives, adjectives. Y hay algunos adjetivos que pueden ser 
positivos. There are some adjectives that, that can be positive or others can be negative, okay? Or saying a negative um, characteristic of the place. So let's read, okay? Let's read. Here we have... Okay. Here it says, read the description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Can you guess where they work? Okay, can you guess where they work? Okay, then there is a beautiful lobby. Okay, there is a beautiful, a beautiful lobby. Hmm? Lobby. Lobby is like a reception area, right? So there are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. There are three high-tech elevators. Vamos a ver a Mrs. Aguilar. There is a narrow reception area. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty, esta palabra es un poco difícil, dirty dining rooms, okay? There are two dirty dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. There are small offices. Okay, now. Let's see, what do you think? Does Mr. Paz work in a good or in a bad place? What do you think about Mrs. Aguilar? Sorry teacher, can you repeat mm -hmm. please? Okay. What do you think? Does Mr. Pass work in a good place or a bad place? What do you think about Mrs. Aguilar workplace? Uh, the Mr. Pass, uh, it's a good place. It's a good place. Do you think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Because they are positive Aguilar adjectives, right? Mm -hmm. Pass is happy. In his workplace. Okay. Uh huh. Is there any question about the vocabulary here? Hay alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario que hay en estas oraciones? The narrow, narrow. Narrow, estrecha. ¿Conocemos este vocabulario o hay alguna pregunta? Yeah, high tech. High tech es de alta tecnología. O sea, yeah, okay, modernos, right? Mm -hmm. And huge. Huge. Enorme. Huge. Mm -hmm. Dirty teacher. Dirty is Dirty? sucio. Yeah. Oh. Holy fell. Yes. Holy fell for a for a copy shop. For the for the copy center. For the uh, copy center. Mm -hmm. It's a position, uh, Mr. Pass and Mr. Uh, Mr. Aguilar. Mm -hmm. Es que sí, aquí hay una S que falta. <risa> ah, Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Aguilar. Okay, now what do you think? Um, Mr. Paz 
I mean, does Mr. Paz work in a building or he works in uh, a, in a house? What do you think? In a building. No. In a building. Okay. Why? ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué su respuesta? Because of the elevators. Because of the lobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Los edificios normalmente tienen una área de recepción, ¿verdad? Un lugar donde... Uh, un front desk, ¿verdad? Un front desk de información, ya, yeah, o de chequeo, right? So now let's read the information, that information, and let's answer these questions, okay? How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? ¿Cómo lo describe? Uh -huh. uh, he describes his workplace a uh, beautiful, comfortable, and B, I guess. And then we could say in a positive, right? Positive way. Yeah. In a positive way. So I think he is uh, say he's saying that it's a nice place, right? So in a positive way, we could say. Mm, as a nice place to work, okay? Yeah, as a nice place to work, correct? What does Mrs. Aila think about her workplace? And then Nilsson? Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a regresar a la información. Hello, uh, teacher, uh -huh. can I say awful? Uh, yes, very good. Mm -hmm. As an awful place to work. Very good. Mm -hmm. Bien, Ve, regresemos a, a la información y pensemos en cuál de los dos lugares nos gustaría trabajar. Permítanme, se me movió todo. Mm -hmm. Which of these places do you think it's worth it to work. Veamos, tenemos diferentes características. Veamos esta característica, beautiful lobby. Is it good or is it bad? It's good, right? It's good. It's good. Comfortable good. rooms, comfortable rooms. ¿Qué sería lo contrario de comfortable? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yes, uncomfortable. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Veamos. A huge parking lot. A huge parking lot. Imagine and our reality, I think. Our small parking lot. A small parking lot. Yeah, in our reality, that's what happened, right? We find only small parking lot or 
no parking lot at all, right? So huge parking lot is a benefit here, right? It's a very good characteristic of this facility, right? So there are three high tech elevators, three elevators. So it's enough for all the people to work there, right? So you don't have to, to use the, the stairs, yeah? So I think it's a good characteristic of the place, right? It's an advantage, yeah, it's an advantage. Now let's think about the others. Pensemos acerca de las características que describe Mrs. Aguilar. The characteristics that Mrs. Aguilar is describing or using to describe the place. Let's see. It says there is a narrow reception area. Narrow reception area. Uh -huh. Is it bad or is it good? It's a bad. It's bad? Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Imagine a lot of people uh, entering and going out. Imagine that in a narrow space. I think it's uncomfortable, right? Uncomfortable. So let's see, there are two dirty dining rooms. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you like dirty places or do you like clean places? Okay. There is an ugly photocopy center. Ugly. Why? Maybe it's airless. Okay. No hay aire ahí. Or maybe it's not tidy. No está ordenado. It's untidy. Yeah, uh huh. So it's an ugly photocopy center. Maybe there is no light in the room. Yeah. Okay. Then there are small offices. It says there are small offices. Do you like small offices or do you like big offices or spacious offices? Uh huh. What do you like more? Well, uh, like what do you prefer? The first one. They are like office. Okay. Now think about the place where you work. Okay. Think about the place where you work and think um, how to describe that place. Ahora, respondamos esta última pregunta. On which of the two places do you want to work? On which of the two places do you want to work? Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Aguilar or and Mrs. Paz workplace? Mr. Paz mm -hmm. workplace. Mm -hmm. Mr. Paz workplace. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So the answer here is on Mr. Bus Workplace. Okay, there you go, Workplace. Why? Because oh, it's a beautiful company. It's beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful lobby. Okay. Beautiful lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, the comfortable room. Mm -hmm. uh, Hue the parking lot. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Ok, nos vamos a quedar hasta ahí. Mañana vamos a continuar el manual también para finalizar lo que eh, no hemos completado en el manual. Ok, los ejercicios que no hemos hecho en el manual. Ok. Ahora voy a pasar el, la lista. Remember, please, to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Aníbal Osmaro Hernández Murcia. Present teacher. Denis Orlando Mejía Vélez. Present teacher. Ever Hernán Mejía. Gabriel Eliseo de Odanes Pérez. In present teacher. Georgina Beatriz Aldaña de Guzmán. Present Glo teacher. Okay, Gloria Cecilia Sorto. Isidro Ernesto Costa Maldonado. Jorge Luis Martínez Gómez. Present teacher. 
José Fernando Marroquín Palacios. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonía. Present teacher. Marta Marisela Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Raúl Edgardo Robles. Present teacher. Ok. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Evelyn Rodríguez Martínez. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Lucía de Los Ángeles Solís Ramos. Present. Alba Janet Jiménez Cabrera. Present teacher. Eric Edenilson Escobar Suárez. Present teacher. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Oops. I closed everything, yeah. Okay, people. I think we're off the clock. It's 10 or 4 right now. So just let me check who is on the list for the session one on one. está lento esto. Falta que vean desde la sesión. El chavo del ocho. Ustedes quieren que bajen el video, vea. Mándelo en el grupo, teacher. Ay, Dios mío. Ustedes sí que de plano vamos a ver. Ahorita, ahorita. De plano que esto está re lento. Sí los comprendo. Han estado sí. teniendo bastantes problemas. Dígame, Alba. Ah, el otro módulo usted va a hacer la, nuestra teacher. Eh, ¿Le damos los mismos? No, fíjese que Andiate. normalmente lo sortean, ¿ok? Eso es lo normal, que lo sorteen. Entonces puede ser en nuestra suerte que quedemos juntos o puede ser que nos separen, ¿verdad? Y nos manden a otro grupo. Puede ser que todos queden juntos, puede ser que eh, unos van a un grupo, otros van a otro grupo. Yeah. O sea, que ya no es el mismo grupo. Uh -huh. En Pero, general sí, en general sí, lo, lo que pasa es que a medida que llegan los documentos, ese es el detalle, ahí es donde, donde se cambia el orden, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a cómo van llegando los documentos, así es como se van llenando los grupos. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Por eso es que a veces Ahora, quedan separados. Eh, eh. Perdón. Semanas de vacación, ¿verdad, Ticho? Sí, viene la semana de vacación y esperamos que la siguiente semana se inicie. ¿Qué, ¿Qué fecha les pusieron a ustedes ahí en el, en el email de la convocatoria? 18. Tentativa, ¿verdad? No. Sí. 18. Sí. No, no. Tentativa de abril. 18 de abril. De abril. Mm -mm. 18 de abril. El 25 de, de abril, el lunes 25, ese vamos a comenzar. Okay. Ahora hablé con la encargada, no me acuerdo. Okay. Oh, lo que, ah, pues, no, 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 Bien, miren, la lista de eh, sesión uno a uno la hemos finalizado la, con los participantes. Tenemos um, disponible para quien quiera eh, tomar este momento. 
alguien quiere quedarse porque el último era Wilber en el, en el listado de las sesiones uno a uno. Entonces, ¿hay alguien que quisiera quedarse que tenga alguna pregunta, consulta que hacer? Hasta la risa los delata a ustedes. No, sí, sí, sí. Hay una aplicación que hasta ahora voy viendo, el nivel corporativo, ajá, ajá. entonces se, podría, se podía usar. Y sí, se, se usar. puede descargar, se puede descargar. Uh -huh. eh, se puede descargar, sí, claro que sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, entonces no hay consultas, no hay preguntas, todos estamos bien, todos estamos contentos, felices. Sí, Chao. observaciones, Adiós, opiniones. <risa> Nada, ok, no, no, sí, no, no, ya no, va a dormir no. Alba. <risa> ok, pero solo Alba, de los demás <risa> quiero ver, eh, Aníbal todavía, y medio, Aníbal vaya a dormir, si está a las 3 de la mañana se va. A ver, eh, Kevin a las 4 sale, ok. Así que ya, yes, dejamos sir. esto. Ok, people, vayan entonces a cobijarse ya. Y have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Please do your homework and have a very good rest, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye, classmate.